What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys been out the building shit, using your hands, building and fixing, creating, knowing that you're just as capable as anybody else on this earth. So in this episode of Workshop, we're gonna be talking about springs, struts, and top hats. If you like Subarus, you've probably heard of these parts. But just because you've heard of them, doesn't mean you've got the proper tools to deal with them. So I'm going to show you an improvisation, a way that I was able to uh, dismantle and reassemble mine without a spring compressor. Follow my directions at your own risk. So since our top hats are different and I don't have a spring compressor, I do got some ratchet straps. So I'm going to give this a shot and hopefully I don't die. So I got it wrapped around there. I'll get dug in Ratchet it until you see it pulling away from the ends. You don't want to store up too much energy in this because you're going to have to open it. Well, I'm going to put one on the other side too. Alright guys, so I got two ratchet straps snugged up on there. I couldn't quite get one to this side, but I think it should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, back this out. I got that out. There we go. There, it's separating that from the top. Undo the tension on these. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, nothing happened. And this one. Let's see. Yeah. No big deal, guys. There we have it. Shock boot. There's the top hat that we're trying to change out for the different bolt pattern. There's the spring. And there's the strut. So there they are side by side and it looks like the tops are pretty close to the same spring height. Uh, the top hats obviously are a little bit different. They got a different pattern to them. But this is where you get your lift is down here. This portion of the Outback one versus the Legacy. Drop me a comment down below. What kind of Subaru do you guys got? Mine's a 1991 Subaru Legacy. Wagon, right hand drive, postal edition. The ratchet straps on there. So let's get this top hat switched. If you need to keep it from spinning to back the nut off, grab it with some vice grips as far up the shank as you can to where you're not damaging that shaft where it's gonna go into the shock. So we got that nut off, back that out, and there we go. Alrighty, so I had to crank on the ratchets a little more but I got that top hat on and then you want the inside hole lined up the opposite to those you can just back these off here without even worrying about spring pressure it's putting it back together that you need to compress it if you're really worried about the spring tension you could throw a blanket over when you're uh, undoing it or whatever be careful you don't want to use real weak uh, you know like little harbor freight ratchet straps that might break because you know once it is cinched down there is kind of a bit of a energy stored up in that spring and you don't want that that thing to break with your hand in the front and you might end up with a broken finger or whatever so do this at your own risk use your brain guys be careful if you learn something hit like it's really appreciated just kind of a small youtuber trying to grow trying to beat those evil algorithms uh, if you want more information in the future, how I lifted my little uh, Subaru Legacy, hit subscribe. If you want further encouraging messages about using your hands, building, fixing, creating, again, hit subscribe. It's really appreciated. Drop a comment down below. I'll pretty much always get back to comments. And uh, until next time, believe in what God gave you. Take on some projects and uh, keep building shit, guys.